Welcome to Hatch Embroidery. Today we have a quick and easy design that is perfect for Father's Day or that special person who likes to cook. The first thing that we need to do is to open our artwork. To open the artwork into our Hatch software, click on the Artwork toolbox, click on Insert Artwork, then you will locate where you have saved your image. You will click on the image and then you will click open. Before you start digitizing or auto digitizing, you will want to make sure your artwork is sized pretty close to what you want it. Click on the image to select it. I know it's selected because I see these black squares or black selection handles going around it. When that is selected, then I can look at my overall size. It tells me that it is 6 inches by 6 inches, almost 7 inches by 7 inches, but I know that is the total size of this image. And I'm only going to be working with the hat. So I want to know exactly how big that hat is. First of all, to measure on screen, press the letter M, M for measure. You'll see a small measure appear in the tooltip. Click on one side, move your mouse to the length that you want to measure, and you will see that it now says that it's four inches. You do not have to click on the right hand side or the second side, but you can. Once you click, then when you move again, it will start your measurement again. So I could click at the top and come down to the bottom and know that's about three inches. Can click on the left hand side, move it over and know that that's about four inches. Press the escape key two times to turn off your measure tool. Again, click to select the image. I'm going to go up to resize and I'm just going to resize it down a few times. Now I can come back to my measure tool, click, click, and I know that is about 2.8, almost 3 inches. That's about where I want it to be. I'm going to press the escape key two times. Now once I have that done, I like to take this and center this in my screen. Notice that you have a zero here and a zero here. Notice that as I move this around that you will see a crosshair going straight up through the middle and straight across the middle. And I just take those and I will uh, line those up with the zero vertically and horizontally. And I know that that now is in the center. Now that we have the artwork, the size that we want it, let's save it before we go forward. If the artwork is not selected, click on it. You will know it's selected by the black handles. With it selected, click on Save Artwork and then give it a name. Since it's the same image, I'm going to add small or SM at the end of my original. And I will know that is a small version of the original image that I started with. Now we are ready to auto digitize. Make sure that the artwork is selected. Click on auto digitize. Click on auto digitize instant embroidery. It is automatically digitized. Press the letter D to turn the picture off. Press the letter D to turn the picture image back on. I want to add lettering now. Click on the lettering toolbox. Click on lettering. Enter your text. I want these to be red. So click on red to change the color. And then click to move them to the location that you like. I can tell that my overall size of my design is three and a half by two and a half. I want that larger. To select all, control A, and then I will click on 
increase 10%. Measurements are four by three, and I think that's good. You can change your colors, you can change your font style, you can change the alignment. There's a lot of simple things that you can do with the Hatch Embroidery software. Once we have it done, we need to save our design. If you have not already given your design a name, we'll click on Output Design, Save Design As because we want to save it to the MV format. And click Save. I'm going to click on Stitch Player. Watch it stitch out. No changes that I want to make. I'm ready to export it to my machine format. Click on Export Design. Select the format of your machine and click Save. I also like to go to Preview. I only have two colors here. I know that it's going to be black and red. I'm really not going to bother with assigning the colors to a particular brand. I'm just going to go to my thread box and find the black and the red that I want to stitch it out with. And then you can print. And you have completed your design. You're ready to stitch it out.